Busi, thank you so much, uh, uh, Busi. So let's talk a little bit about the tweets that we're seeing on screen now. Uh, the, f the first one there says, um, I think that's a Trevor Noah. It says, Trevor Noah is the fourth highest paid comedian in the world. How did he make, uh, how did he make his fortune? And this is one of the CNBC trending stories. Hi, Nuzi Piyas. So these are the trending stories on our website mm -hmm. at cnbcafrica.com. So of course, Trevor Noah made most of his fortune. Um, so we discussed this last week, most of his fortune from his stand-up um, comedy. And then we also have the Forbes Billionaires list, which is currently also trending on our website. And of course, Zozibini Tunzi, which, who is Miss Essay. Mm -hmm. So she spoke to us last week about her journey and she's going to be heading off to Miss Universe later on this year. Mm -hmm. So very interesting, diverse uh, set of stories on our own website there. But let's also talk about uh, uh, Gavin Watson. I mean, that was a big story uh, this morning that uh, just snowballed in terms of its momentum. Certainly must be trending today. Yes, Nuzipa. So um, Busasa CEO Gavin Watson has been killed in a car crash and the police confirmed that this took place early this morning um, near the R12 um, near or Tambo International Airport and a lot of people um, went on to social media to voice their opinions and there's a lot of conspiracy theories out there so a lot of people are saying he might have faked his death and mm -hmm. um, he's probably somewhere in Cuba with Tupac and other people um, actually yeah. said you know what this might have <laughs> this might have something to do with the CR17 campaign yeah. and they are looking forward to the police actually having an investigation into this I, I th and, and I think there's going to be some beautiful memes coming out of that but uh, uh, US Open Williams versus Sharapova tell us a little bit about that yes so the US Open for tennis fans of course around the world they're looking forward to it it's kicking off this week actually today and Serena Williams and, and Sharapova are going to be meeting each other in the first round tomorrow mm -hmm. um, so the, they haven't played each other since 2016 and the last time Sharapova won against Serena Williams mm. was in 2004. Yeah. That's when George Bush was the president of the United States of My America. Goodness. YouTube wasn't even a thing. <laughs> so a lot of people are just like so shocked. That the, the first round is we have Serena it's, versus Sharapova. It's going to be hot, clearly, uh, Absolutely. From, the, from the beginning. But Absolutely. let's stay with sports very quickly. Uh, Sia Kolisi going to be captaining the, the South African World Cup, the Boca. Yes. Yeah? So Mark Alexandra, who is um, the head of SA Rugby, he announced the squad um, so they're heading over to Japan for the World Cup and the 31 man squad it's basically a mixture of young and old talent and of course as you said Sia Khaleesi will be heading will be leading this team and we are going to be playing against New Zealand on the 21st of September so that's when our first match is going to take place okay so lots of rugby watching final one Brazil facing backlash over the Amazon fires and just bring in uh, French President uh, Emmanuel Macron into this yes so basically he last week we saw that the Amazon was on fire and a lot of people were just basically angry about this because the Amazon forest is the is known as the planet's um, the Earth's lungs mm. because it produces 20% of the oxygen. So Macron declared this as an international crisis and said that the G7 have to discuss a way forward for this so that this does not happen. Mm. Well, if you haven't been uh, following uh, some of the biggest trends, uh, this is a certainly an opportunity to do so. And of course, uh, by going also to www.cnbcafrica.com to read some of the trending stories that we have already at the beginning of this week.